What I'm about to tell you guys in today's video is going to explain to you why the Air Jordan 1 is officially dead. We got some dope colorways that came out and that are about to come out and people are already trashing them, calling them bricks, etc, etc. But we got to talk about it, so sit back, enjoy the video, because we got a lot to talk about, man. Let's get right into it. YouTube! Man, what is going on, everybody? Man, thank you guys so much for pulling up to today's video. Like you guys see in the thumbnail and the title and the intro, you know what we're talking about. We're talking about the Jordan 1s. We're talking about Jordans in general and the hype. And shout out to the homie Mike Rich, man. I seen him put a post up about the Air Jordan 1. I said I had to put my two cents in it and I'm gonna elaborate on pretty much what I was talking about in his comment section on today's video, man. So if you guys are new here to the channel, and you have not subscribed already, man, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell for your boys to miss out on any content that we do drop over here on the channel. And make sure everybody watching, man, you leave a huge like. You probably already skipped through already. But hey, for everybody watching this, tap in, man. Hit that like button for your boy. It shows YouTube you guys enjoying the content. And it keep your boy a little bit motivated, man. So y'all hit that like button. And make sure you drop a comment or two about today's discussion. I can't wait to read you guys' comments. I've been going crazy the last couple of days. And hey, man. It ain't stopping yet. We got more content on the way. And real quick before we even hop into the topic, man, the last couple of days, I'm gonna put you guys on, let you know that there are pairs sitting of the Air Jordan 4 Military Blues. The homie, he got kicks, went to his local mall. I went to my local mall and they have pairs literally sitting in a couple of different spots, man. So when I told y'all pairs are sitting, bro, I'm telling y'all pairs are sitting there. There's so many pairs. Just because there was only 14,000 on the Sneakers app, that only means that they pushed the, you know, the Sneakers out to uh, the retail spot. So if you do still want to get another pair, if you still need to secure your pair, man, go to your local mall, go to your local sneaker shop and ask around. You gotta talk, man. A lot of people are scared to talk, ask questions. Me, I go into the store, you know what I'm saying? I say what's up to everybody, I say what's up to the workers. And I ask them like, yo, how many pairs you get? How many pairs are you anticipating to get for a certain release? It's just all about communication, man. Networking, uh, getting to know people, and opening your mouth and talking, bro. You gotta be talk. You gotta talk, man. You can't be all sheltered in. This ain't back in the day. You know what I'm saying? It's ain't like COVID no more. You can go talk to people without being afraid of getting sick. And I've been telling you guys for the longest about Secret Sauce, man. Secret Sauce is an exclusive membership subscription-based service over on Discord. I've been telling you guys the last couple, you know, videos kind of help you guys out and let you know what they actually do provide for us in the scene community. It's super clutch for people like me, super clutch for probably a lot of people watching these video that probably work a nine to five, that probably don't got time to be on a computer all day, you know what I'm saying, staying up to date with the shop drops, the restocks and stuff like that. That's where a group like Secret Sauce comes into play. They can help you out with auto checking out with those certain singers that you do want and depending on what membership that you do get, that kind of depends on how many times you can use that auto checkout service, man. But other than that, man, they still let you know about the restock. So let you know about the shop drops. You guys always ask me, how do you know about these shop drops? How do you know about these restocks and stuff like that, man? I gotta give huge credit over to Secret Sauce. Now, I want you guys to just go check them out. Go tap in with them, tell them the Vintage sent you. I'm gonna leave my link down below so you guys can go peep. They do monthly giveaways through their members and like I said, bro, they were confident about all the Air Jordan 4 Military Blues giving every member a pair for retail. And you guys see on the screen, bro, they had a bunch of pairs, cooked pairs up, just looking out for every member a part of the group. So make sure you guys go join up, man, especially if you want to get some information, even if you want to sell sneakers. They help people out, they want to sell sneakers as well. So it's definitely a spot you can go to, get some tips, get some tricks on how to, you know what I'm saying, enter that reselling realm. Or if you do want to get a pair for retail, pair for yourself in general, then you can head over there, man. So hopefully here in the next couple of days, you see some early kicks from Secret Sauce and they have early kicks for you if you want to get some early pairs. They got everything, man, to offer us sneaker heads, us sneaker enthusiasts, man. So go tap in with Secret Sauce. I'm going to link them down below in the description box. Let's go tap in with them ASAP Rocky. All right, so for the first Air Journal 1 that we got to talk about, man, you see it, bro. You guys see it, bro. And it's something I did not even notice about this Air Jordan 1 when I did show early, a couple people in the comment section helped me out. This is actually a little bit of a twist to this Jordan 1 latte. I should have knew it, man, but it did come with a coaster, bro. It came with a coaster, a Jumpman coaster, bro. This is super dope. It says, see you latte. And of course you do have the Air Jordan 1s right here. There you have it, man. Check it out, bro. Air Jordan 1 lattes. Now these right here, bro, I'm telling y'all, super clean pair of Air Jordan 1s, and I'm just thinking back, right? 
even when I showed him the first time on the channel, I said, yo, this Jordan 1 right here is going to go crazy. We've been talking about it on the live stream. A lot of people's feeling and stuff like that. But of course, you know, one or two things do happen. Making this not an extended size Jordan 1 women's exclusive because people are going to trash it. People are going to say they only want Travis Scott or something like that. So you just limit it to up to that size. I think it's 10 and a half or 11 in men. And that's all the people that can get it. You feel me? But for Jordan 1 like this, back in the day, for the drop, and I always reference the Jordan 1 mochas, people went bananas. People went crazy over the mocha ones. You got another clean, you know what I'm saying, monochromatic Jordan 1 right here with the latte vibes on the back. And these joints right here, to me, I feel like if they were to release a little bit ago, maybe like three, four years ago, jumped on people would have been going crazy over these joints right here, man. I love them. This is definitely a cop for me. And I know a lot of people gonna be in the comment section like, yo, you just happy because they dropped it in a smaller size you can fit a size nine and a half. Yes, I can. I ain't trying to rub any y'all face or nothing like that. But I don't blame Nike, you feel me? It's either going one or two things gonna happen. People are gonna love it or nine times out of 10 if it's a Jordan 1. And if it's not a Chicago, if it's not a Bread, if it's not a Travis Scott, then it's not gonna be a lot of people, I guess you could say expressing interest into a sneaker like these Latte Woman Air Jordan Ones, man. So even if they made them a menace, a regular drop, a GR, a menace glue, it don't matter. A lot of people still would have been passing up on these things due to the fact that the resale. That's why I always say, man, hype bees kind of mess it up sometime when we get in clean Jordan Ones. Like people are like, oh, I don't wear Jordan One women's exclusives. I don't wear women's exclusives. I don't wear this, this, and that. And at the end of the day, bro, if it has hype surrounding the shoe, people will go crazy. Point in case, point in case. You guys know Nike, Travis Scott, Jordan Brand, they did a woman exclusive drop for the Jordan 1 Low, and it wasn't hearing nobody saying they don't want no woman's exclusive around that time. So if it's Travis Scott, it's cool. The hype beast is cool with that. But when it's a, a clean Jordan 1 like this, or even a regular GR, not talking about women's exclusive, people will still put some taint, they'll put some dirt, or just try to just try to pretty much shit on a pair of sneakers that Jordan Brand is producing, man. They're giving us some dope colorways this year, man. I feel like this year and next year in 2025, it's going to go crazy with releases. OG colorways, you know what I'm saying? Even some classic colors released next year, cool gray nines. Uh, just a bunch of them, bro. A bunch of them I can just think of the top of my head and I cannot wait. But it's probably going to be the same thing, bro. People only want what's hype. People only want what's relevant in their eyes. And they want what costs a lot of money at the end of the day. These right here are already going for really, really cheap right now. And that's to be expected. But come release date, you guys know the bigger sizes, like that size 8 up in the men's sizing for the, this woman exclusive, they will be so not quick. So if you do need a pair and you do fit into these joints that did not do extended sizes, make sure you guys tap in. I think this is the release date is like the end of May sometime. I'll put the date up here. But clean pair of Jordan 1s, man. And this is not just the first Jordan 1 I want to talk about. I also wanted to talk about the Gringo Air Jordan 1s. And again, shouts out to Mike Rich. You guys remember it earlier in the video. I know I've been talking your head off. But earlier in the video, I mentioned the homie put up a post on his uh, Instagram. And he said, hype, you know, pretty much hype moves in mysterious ways. And I kind of deciphered that really quick because he showed these Air Jordan 1 Green Glows with uh, in comparison to a Jordan 1 Igloo that's reselling for like over a thousand dollars and it looks so similar. And the only thing that, you know, the only key factor to the difference between these, 120 bucks right now value, and the Igloo Jordan 1s, which is a little bit lighter of this green glow colorway, is the resale value. People only want what's hype. People only want what's super limited and that is what's killing uh, the love for sneakers in the, the day. People see something, they might think it's dope, but they see the comments and all you see is bricks, trash, they gonna sit. And it does not matter if a pair of sneakers sit, bro. So I'm kind of vent right now and I ain't trying to go off too crazy, but it's kind of getting annoying at the end of the day, bro. People can't appreciate what they like. People can't go out and buy what they like without seeing somebody saying it's a brick, they trash, it's just another Jordan 1 or nothing like that. Man, I always tell people, man, buy what you like, forget the hype, and point in case today, the Air Jordan 1 Green Glows and the Igloos look super similar. And why not just spend 130 bucks on these joints rather than spending $1,300 on a more limited shoe that's worth thousands of dollars? I don't know, bro. Y'all help me out in the comment section. But I appreciate all the support, man. Thank you guys so much for tapping in. I know it's a lengthy video. Just had to get some stuff off my chest. 
how to chop it up with you guys. And I cannot wait to read you guys' comments. I'm trying to think of a good way to title this video to lure you guys in because I really do want y'all input on what we talked about today. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the notification bell for your boys so you don't miss out on any content that we drop. And make sure you leave a huge like on today's video, man. The likes go a long way. You know the spiel. We're trying to hit that 100K and we ride around the corner to so help your boy out. I love y'all. Appreciate all the support. All that's being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.